Okay, so um, here is the sketchbook that I started in April. Um, I, like I said, I didn't get very far, um, but I wanted to show you a quick flip through. I apologize in advance, it's probably gonna be somewhat shaky and the audio might be a little bit um, rough, but let's go ahead and just take a look anyways. So uh, I just got my name in there. Um, this was the first. Um, so these were some of the first little doodles, sketches that I made. Um, and then I was doing a little bit of journaling. This is a story about when my brother and our two best friends went camping in high school in Door County. And there's like this spooky event that happened. Um, and I was just copying a version of the story that my friend Nick had posted online. Um, and there's some like strange figures that are overlapping. Um, I drew these right before Megan left to go to Arizona for spring break. So here are a couple portraits of Megan with uh, ink and colored pencil, both from photographs. Um, let me change the lighting here again. Here are some, let's actually go like this. Some strange, kind of surreal shapes that are figurative, um, kind of quirky drawings. I like this middle shape a lot. Let's see what else we got here. This was off of a picture of myself looking at my teeth. I just recently got some dental work done, so uh, there's some photos on my phone of these weird angles that were fun to draw. And then there's some of these just imaginary, very like lumpy kind of shapes that I like to play with and try to create a sense of volume and texture on. So that's there. This is another just weird shape I came up with, with pen, purple pen. Um, I had the sketchbook when I was on a trip back home in Wisconsin. I was staying with my brother and he has this little Abraham Lincoln statue that uh, was fun to just sort of draw while I was sitting on his couch. And then I kind of kept going back to these like dreamlike figurative sketches. Um, some of these will probably end up as subjects in paintings. It's nice to like come up with something that uh, is pretty small, but also like well organized within its shape. That way I can just pull this out and add it to a larger painting if I want in the future. And I got stuff like this. Here's a like Kanyo reference by somebody um, with a mask. It's a weird portrait that I came up with. Some like figures, gesture figures. I was just messing around with with pen and ink. Um, let's see. This is like a weird spider pumpkin thing. I don't. Know. I like to come up with these like very volumetric illusions of organic shapes. And then we've got some celebrity drawings in here from my nephew. Let's see, let me zoom out and refocus. So my nephew came up with these sketches. Some of them are really nice. Nice uh, energy. And even just the overall composition, it's like there's a lot you can learn by people that have no filter like little kids. So it's actually kind of handy to have that in here. And my sister added some drawings, my nephew's mom. This is when I was staying with them in April. Uh, and then I was just like kind of playing around while I was watching television, I think. Uh, these are some like cartoony types of designs. Don't really mean anything. Um, and then these last couple sketches are based on photos that some of my followers on Instagram sent me. So we have a dog named Dixie. It's a really cute dog. Uh, this is my nephew, MJ. My brother-in-law sent me some photos. I like this quick gestural drawing a lot. I like the way it turned out. Um, I feel like it's better to, to draw ch children's portraits this way. Just faster the better. Uh, and then I got one like this where He's holding this bratwurst, staring at the camera with uh, his dad. So that was a fun one to, to draw too. 
Um, then we have somebody holding a fish. This is Megan's dad, a picture of her dad holding a fish. Turn the brightness up a little bit here. Um, and this is kind of hard to see. This is actually somebody's cat drawn with colored pencil. This is our friend's cat named Pip. Um, and she was laying on a couch on her back and her mom took this photo of her. This photo of her and it looks like she's standing. It's kind of a funny photo. But it, I did like a five minute gesture drawing based on that. Um, and then got some measurements and a quick portrait from the Kenyo Telegram group. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, unfortunately. I've painted and drawn his face a few times now. It's like Giuseppe or something like that. Um, but uh, he's got a really great face for portraits. I love his expressions. But yeah, I think that was it then. All the rest of this I didn't even touch. So I feel kind of crappy about it, but you know what? That's how things go sometimes. So someday, maybe in like a year, I'll be able to share a final full sketchbook tour of this one that started in April of 2021. But uh, look up the hashtag and check out other artists that did this challenge. There's some really, really great work out there. Um, and I hope, hopefully you liked this quick video. Uh, thanks for watching. All right, let's get back into our newsletter.